Hallelujah. I bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Happy New Year 2021. Today we are going to speak about the mystery of the gates and the importance of possessing the gates of the new year. Every year you must make sure that you possess the gates of the year if you want that new year to favor you. As we go through this teaching, you will understand the reason of your past failures in the past years and you will get the keys that will help you secure the new year so that you will be victorious in every area of your life throughout the year from January to December. What is a gate? And when we are talking about the gates here, we are talking about spiritual gates. Those gates are invisible, but those gates exist. Those gates cannot be seen with physical eyes, but with spiritual eyes, those gates can be seen. And those gates are very important because major decisions are made at the gates. Major transactions are conducted at the gates. So understanding the mystery of spiritual gates is very important. Mostly when it comes to secure the new year in your life. So what is the gate? What is a spiritual gate? A spiritual gate, it's a very strategic place. It's a place of dominion. It's a place of control. It's a place of authority. When you look at Ruth chapter 4 verse 11, you can see that the Bible makes us understand that the gates are seats of authorities. They are seats of authorities. The gates are places of exchange. The gates, it's a place of transactions. A place where transactions are made in the spiritual realm. A gate, it's a place of manipulation. Destinies, blessing, gift are manipulated and diverted at the gates. The gates, it's a place of transition. It's a place of transfer. A gate is a doorway between two worlds. It's a doorway between two places, two neighborhoods, two environments, two nations, two countries. The gates are also the borders of a territory. Whoever controls the gates controls everything inside the gates. Whoever controls the gates controls everything inside the gates. It is important that you understand that every year has gates. Every week has gates. Every day has gates. Even every hour has gates. The midnight hour is also a gate because the midnight hour it's a point of transition between two months, between two days, between two years to control a territory you must secure the gates or the borders to be in charge of everything within a territory you must secure and control the gates and the borders of that territory the best way to secure the new year is to secure and possess the gates of the new year. Because when you secure and possess the gates of the new year, you will be in charge of everything that will take place 
throughout that year. People are not in charge of what happened throughout the year because they are not in charge of the gates of the year. Because whoever controls the gates of the new year will control anything that will take place during the year. When you possess the gates of the year, you are positioning yourself to enforce your agenda for the year. Many make goals for the new year, but don't achieve the goals because they have not possessed the gates of the year. When you are not in control of the gates of your life, the kingdom of darkness will be in control. They will monitor all your movements and stop you from achieving anything. When the year is not secure, even the promises and the prophecies of God for your life will not come to pass. It's important to understand that. That even the promises and the prophecies of God will not come to pass in your life when you have not secured and possessed the gates of the year. This is why God will give prophecies and promises to people for a year. But throughout the year, they will see none coming to pass. It's not because God was lying. It's not because God did not provide it for the fulfillment of the promise or the prophecy. It's simply because certain conditions were not met for the prophecies and the promises of God to come to pass. And one of the conditions for the prophecies and the promises of God to come to pass is that you must be in charge of the gates of the year. Because if you're not in charge of the gates of the year, you will not have the authority to enforce the will of God to be fulfilled in your life throughout the year. Because those who are in charge of the gates of the year have the power to decide. This is why those who cross into the new year at parties, club, drinking, or engaging in non-Christian celebrations are already set to fail to achieve the goals for the new year. The month of December is a time to secure the entry into the new year. But the month of January, it's a time to possess the gates and to secure the new year. The majority of events that occur throughout the year are devised and planned between December and January in the spirit realm. This is why at the beginning of the year, your spirituality must be at the peak. You must be engaged in aggressive obedience, aggressive holiness, aggressive prayer, and aggressive fasting. Because the course of the year will depend on how well you handle spiritual matters. In the month of January, the death, the sickness, the failure, the divorce, the scandals, the shame, the deception, the poverty, the wickedness, the trouble, the betrayals that people experience throughout the year are all projected in January into their lives. This is why anyone who is deep in the spirit realm can get a picture of what is to come during the year. In the spirit realm, nothing is hidden. Nothing is hidden. The past, the present, and the future are visible to spiritual eyes. The beginning of the year should not be a time to relax, a time to rest, a time to be lazy in spiritual exercises. It should not be a time to be distracted. 
but it should be a time to be very sensitive to the things of the spirit it's a time of consecration and dedication to god it's a time of profound intimacy with god it's a time to equip and prepare yourself spiritually to overcome any challenges and adversities throughout the year it's a time to invest your resources time finances and orders to raise orders and to secure the new year do not forget the most important exercises which are thanksgiving and praise many believers are ignorant of the fact that thanksgiving and praise are the most important things that move God from heaven if you want to move God you must engage in aggressive thanksgiving and praise when you are engaged in aggressive thanksgiving in and praise it will be easier for you to move God the bible called david a man after god's heart because he was a man of worship he was always engaged in aggressive thanksgiving aggressive worship aggressive praise and aggressive obedience to god the bible says in the book of acts chapter 16 from verse 25 to verse 28 that at midnight Paul and Silas were praying and praising God the foundations of the prison were shaken and all the doors were open at the midnight hour i told you the midnight hour it's a spiritual gate because it's a time of transition between two days two months two years at the midnight hour paul and silas were praying and praising god the door of the prison were open when paul and silas pray and praise god god sent his angels to take over the gates of the prison and to open the gates so that Paul and Silas can go out there was no way for God to set free Paul and Silas except through the gates and this is why power had to change at the gates for Paul and Silas to come out from the gates it's the same thing that happened with peter when peter was in prison god sent an angel to wake up peter and to lead him out of the prison through the gates so god sent his angel to take over the gates of the prison to open the gate so that Peter could go out the prison so whoever controls the gates of your life will decide of whatever will come or happen in your life because a gate it's also a place of exit and a place of entrance if you are not in charge of the gates of your life the kingdom of darkness will allow any evil projection to come into your life but when you are in charge of the gates of your life you will be able to oppose any entry of evil projections into your life so you have to be grateful and praise god to secure the gates of the new year because if you are not grateful for what you have you will never be grateful for what you will have or receive
if you can be grateful for the little you have today you will not be grateful when you will have in abundance so thanksgiving and praise when those two spiritual exercises are accompanied with offerings it will make a big difference and your offering to God should be the best you offer at the beginning of the year so the offering that you offer to God to secure the year must be the best because that offering will cover you will cover your activities will secure from January to December everything that you will do so the offering to secure the new year or the sacrifice that you offer to God for the new year must be of quality and must be very important so make sure that you possess the gates of this new year before it is too late for the evil projection are already taking place once the year start so the month of january it's a month of fight it's a month of warfare it's a month of battle it's a month of prayer fasting consecration to god it's a month of sacrifice and offering it's a month of dedication it's a month of focus it's a month where you establish your authority over the year because the bible says in the book of second chronicle chapter 18 verse 9 that the kings of israel and judah sat on the throne at the entrance of the gate of samaria so when you read the bible you will notice that even the kings the throne were at the gates the king sat on the throne at the gates when you read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 16, verse 18, it makes us understand that judges and officers serve at the gates administering justice to people. So the judges and the officers, they will sit at the gates to administer justice to people. Why were they sitting at the gates? Why the kings sat at the gates? Because in the spiritual realm, the gates are point of authority, point of control, point of power. And whoever controls the gates controls whatever is inside the gates. This is why you will engage throughout this month of January in aggressive spiritual exercise, prayer, fasting, holiness, thanksgiving, praise, and sacrifice and offering. As you do it diligently throughout this month of January, I guarantee you that this year you will live in victory in every area of your life. Because the reason why for the past years you had goals but you never achieved them throughout the year is because you never possess the gates of the new year but as you will possess the gates of the new year this year you will see a change because you will be spiritually in a better position in the best position to enforce the fulfillment of God agenda for your life this is what make sure as you engage in this spiritual exercise if you have not yet offer a sacrifice to God make sure you do it because it will make a big difference in your life and throughout the year and if you get to listen to this message after the month of January and that you realize that you have not yet possessed the year even if it's 
in February, March, April, even if it's in June, July, that you get to listen to this message and you realize that you have not secured the year by possessing the gates of the year, you still can do it for the remaining of the year. If you get to listen to this message in August, you still can secure the year for the remaining of the year. You just need to follow the instruction that were given so that you can possess the gates of the year. Now we're going to pray. And as we pray, if you are not born again yet, you need to surrender your life to Christ. Because if you are not born again, all the prayers that we will do now will not benefit you at all. It will be a waste of time for you. So if you are not born again, I want you to say this prayer after me. And if you are already born again, I want you to call upon the mercy of God over your life. Call the mercy of God over your life if you are already born again. But if you are not born again yet, I want you to repeat to say this prayer after me. Say, Oh Lord, I acknowledge that you are the Father of Jesus Christ and that you send your Son to die on the cross so that I may be saved. Today, I repent of my sins and my ways. And I acknowledge and I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Give me the grace from now on to live for you and to live to fulfill your purpose for my life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for all those who have surrendered their life to you right now. I pray that you may give them the grace, the strength, and all that they need to walk with you in faithfulness, to become true disciples, and to be used as powerful vessels to contribute to the advancement of your kingdom on earth in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now we're going to pray to secure the new year 2021. I want you to say these prayers with all your heart, with all your strength, with spiritual violence, and with violent faith. Repeat after me. Holy Spirit, overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, overshadow my life in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Powers of the night at the gates of midnight die in the name of Jesus. Powers of the night at the gates of midnight die in the name of Jesus. Powers of the night at the gates of midnight 
die in the name of Jesus. Powers of the night at the gates of midnight die in the name of Jesus. Powers of the night at the gates of midnight die in the name of Jesus. 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 Powers of the night at the gates of midnight die in the name of Jesus. Powers of the night at the gates of midnight die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ancestral powers at the gates of my life die in the name of Jesus. Ancestral powers at the gates of my life die in the name of Jesus. Ancestral powers at the gates of my life die in the name of Jesus. Ancestral powers at the gates of my life die in the name of Jesus. Ancestral powers at the gates of my life die in the name of Jesus. Ancestral powers at the gates of my life die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Evil powers at the gates of the year 2021 surrender by fire in the name of Jesus evil powers at the gates of the year 2021 surrender by fire in the name of Jesus evil powers at the gates of the year 2021 surrender by fire in the name of Jesus surrender by fire 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 in the name of Jesus evil powers at the gates of the year 2021 surrender by fire in Jesus name we pray amen by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I possess the gates of the year 2021 in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I possess the gates of the year 2021 in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I possess the gates of the year 2021 in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I possess the gates of the year 2021 in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I possess the gates of the year 2021 in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blood of Jesus, sanitize and sanctify the year 2021 for me in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, sanitize and sanctify the year 2021 for me in the name of Jesus blood of Jesus sanitize and sanctify the year 2021 for me in the name of Jesus blood of Jesus sanctify and sanitize the year 2021 for me in the name of Jesus Sanctify and sanitize, sanitize and sanctify, sanitize and sanctify, sanitize and sanctify, sanitize and sanctify, sanitize and sanctify. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Holy Ghost, destroy any evil projection into the year 2021. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, destroy any evil projection into the year 2021 in the name of Jesus Holy Ghost destroy any evil projection into the year 2021 in the name of Jesus Holy Ghost destroy any evil projection into the year 2021 in the name of Jesus destroy 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 any evil projection into the years 2021 in Jesus name we pray amen my father override any evil transaction against my life that took place at the gates of the year 2021 in the name of Jesus my father override any evil transactions against my life that took place 
at the gates of the year 2021 in the name of Jesus my father override any evil transaction against my life that took place at the gate of the year 2021 in the name of Jesus my father override any evil transactions against my life that took place at the gates of the year 2021 in the name of Jesus we pray amen evil altars at the gates of the year 2021 catch fire in the name of Jesus evil altars at the gates of the year 2021 catch fire in the name of Jesus evil orders at the gates of the year 2021 catch fire in the name of Jesus evil orders at the gates of the year 2021 catch fire in the name of Jesus 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 evil orders at the gates of the year 2021 catch fire in the name of Jesus Jesus. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My Father, reverse any evil exchange of my destiny at the gates of the year 2021. In the name of Jesus, my Father, reverse any evil exchange of my destiny at the gates of of the year 2021 in the name of Jesus my father reverse any evil exchange of my destiny at the gates of the year 2021 in the name of Jesus my father reverse any evil exchange of my destiny at the gates of the year 2021 in the name of Jesus reverse 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 any evil exchange of my destiny at the gates of the year 2021 in Jesus name we pray Amen. Evil agenda and assignment against my life at the gates of the year 2021 be terminated in the name of Jesus. Evil agenda and assignment against my life at the gates of the year 2021 be terminated in the name of Jesus. Evil agenda and assignment against my life at the gates of the year 2021 be terminated in the name of Jesus. Be terminated in the name of Jesus. Be terminated in the name of Jesus. Be terminated in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Evil arrows fired into the year 2021 backfire in the name of Jesus. Evil arrows fired into the year 2021 backfire in the name of Jesus. Evil arrow fired into the year 2021 backfire in the name of Jesus. Evil arrows fired into the year 2021 backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire, 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 backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Evil arrow fired into the year 2021 backfire in the name of Jesus backfire 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 in Jesus name we pray amen blood of Jesus and fire of the Holy Spirit secure the gates of the year 2021 in the name of Jesus blood of Jesus and fire of the Holy Ghost secure the gates of the year 2021 in the name of Jesus blood of Jesus and fire of the Holy Ghost secure the gates of the year 2021 in the name of Jesus blood of Jesus fire of the Holy Ghost secure the gates of the year 2021 in Jesus name we pray amen my father Father, I recover by fire all my blessings and stars that were stolen in the name of Jesus. My Father, I recover by fire all my blessings and stars that were stolen in the name of Jesus. My Father, I recover by fire all my blessings and stars that were stolen in the name of Jesus. My Father, I recover by fire 
all my star and blessings that were stolen in the name of Jesus I recover by fire 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 all my blessings and stars that were stolen in Jesus mighty name I pray amen my star Come out of spiritual prison and grief and shine in the name of Jesus. My star, come out of spiritual prison and grief and shine in the name of Jesus. My star, come out of spiritual prison and grief and shine in 2021 in the name of Jesus. My star, come out of spiritual prison and grave and shine in 2021 in the name of Jesus. My star, come out of spiritual prison and grave and shine in 2021 in the name of Jesus. My star, come out of spiritual prison and grave and shine in 2021 in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Gates of the year 2021 remain closed to any demonic activity in the name of Jesus. Gates of the year 2021 remain closed to any demonic activity in the name of Jesus. Gates of the year 2021 remain closed to any demonic activities in the name of Jesus. Gates of the year 2021 remain closed to any demonic activity in the name of Jesus. Remain closed to any demonic activity in the name of Jesus. Remain closed to any demonic activity in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Only the perfect will of God shall come to pass in my life in this year 2021 in the name of Jesus. Only the perfect will of God shall come to pass in my life in this year 2021 in the name of Jesus. Only the will of God shall come to pass in my life in this year 2021 in the name of Jesus. Only the will of God shall come to pass in my life in this year 2021 in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. I shall be victorious throughout this year in every area of my life in the name of Jesus. I shall be victorious throughout this year in every area of my life in the name of Jesus. I shall be victorious throughout this year in every area of my life in the name of Jesus. I shall be victorious throughout this year in every area of my life in the name of Jesus. I shall be victorious throughout this year in every area of my life in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for all those who are listening to the sound of my voice, wherever they are, I decree and I declare that this year, 2021, shall be the year of victory in their lives in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that they shall walk from victory to victory throughout this year, 2021, in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that from January to December, they shall be victorious in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare the powers that resisted them in the past shall surrender to them this year in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare whatever defeated them in the past shall be defeated in their lives this year in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare any blessing and opportunity that escape from their hands in the past shall not escape this year in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that the step shall be ordered by the Lord this year in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare whatever their hands touch this year shall prosper for the glory of God in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare they shall be promoted in the 
eyes of the enemies in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that this year, those who mock them shall testify of the goodness of the Lord in their lives in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare those who rejected them shall run after them this year in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that poverty shall not be the portion this year in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare sickness shall not be the portion in the name of Jesus. Divorce shall not be the portion in the name of Jesus. Depression, stress shall not be the portion in the name of Jesus. Sexual immorality shall not be the portion in the name of Jesus. Failure shall not be the portion in the name of Jesus. Untimely death shall not be the portion in the name of Jesus. Wickedness shall not be the portion in the name of Jesus. Betrayal shall not be the portion in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that they are unstoppable this year in the name of Jesus. They are unstoppable this year in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that they shall overcome any adversity, any challenges, any opposition throughout this year from January to December in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that the blessing of the Lord shall reign over your life, over your home, over your marriage, over your career, over your project, over your business, over your ministry, over every activities that you are doing for the glory of God. Father, I seal with the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost everything that I have decreed and declared over the life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Go in peace. The Lord bless you. Happy New Year. In Jesus' name.